Hi, I'm Mark Straczynski, Artistic Director of West Edge Opera. I wanted to talk a little bit about our next performances. We're going to be doing a version of the Magic Flute, which we're calling the Manga Flute. And I'll tell you a little bit about why it's called the Manga Flute in just a minute. I started thinking about the Magic Flute, and I've worked on a few productions. The Magic Flute is a, you know, one of the top ten operas, beloved, great characters, fantastic music. But it's very hard to make sense of, sense of the Magic Flute. Mozart wrote it with the idea to bring some of the secrets of the Masons to the public. And um, I, everyone loved this, this, this opera, but I, I think many people who don't understand about Masonic ritual are, are fairly baffled by it. So many people had asked me if Scott Marley could do another production for West Edge Opera. Scott has done many operas for Berkeley Opera in the past. Um, he, he takes operas and he moves them around and he translates them and he makes them into something just a little bit different. And people love his work and we've had, we've had a lot of great comments about the pieces he's done for us in the past. And so I wanted to do another work for him and get him involved. I don't tend to like doing opera um, that is not written in English in English, but I think the Magic Flute works very, very well in, in English translation. So I thought it was the perfect piece for Scott to do with us. I first started talking to him about doing this piece and he had lots of questions for me. Um, one was, did it have to follow the exact story? And I said, no, he, he should feel free to make up even a new story as long as we had the characters that we knew and loved, and the, the music remained the same. Also, I wanted it to be a production good for kids, and especially one that people could come away feeling like they had had a story that they understand and could grab onto. So he liked the idea, and he worked on it for a while, and he came up with the idea of being inspired by the work of Miyazaki, the great Japanese filmmaker who has made um, such pictures as Spirited Away and Howl's Moving Castle, he works in an anime, animation style known as anime or manga. Um, and, and this is a Japanese cartoon art that, that is very popular in this country as well as in Japan. I love the idea because I'm a fan of Miyazaki and I felt that his subject matter is often very mystical and magical places where there's a, a different world, a different society that, that is maybe new and strange but somehow seems to make sense and is very moving and I thought that was perfect for the Magic Flute. So I encouraged him to go along with it. We got in touch with uh, a, an anime artist whose name is Megan Willis and um, she's creating images based on what Scott has come up with. The basic story that he is, is working with has to do with a Japanese businessman, Tamino, who um, is a little unhappy with his life and he, he one day just goes for, he goes out into the ocean on a boat, his boat, and a great storm comes up and he finds himself on this magical island where he, where he soon learns that the island is divided into two sections, one ruled by the Queen of the Night and the other ruled by Sarastro. And their daughter is Pamina. Pamina is also the daughter of Sarastro. And Pamina is currently living with Sarastro, has left the Queen of the Night. Um, but the Queen of the Night convinces Tamino to go and rescue uh, Pamina from Sarastro. So you can see that it, it's actually quite similar to the original story, just with different elements mixed in. Papageno's job as the, the, um, the master of the birds is to greet the birds that come to the island and help them to find uh, a place to rest and a place to recuperate while they, they, afterwards they fly on to the next place. The problem is, is that very few birds are coming and Papageno is very upset about this. So Papageno has a bit of a journey to go on as well. Um, I'll, I'll leave the rest to your imagination and, and hope that you come see the production and see what, what happens with all these characters. Um, heading up the cast is one of our favorites. Eugene Brancoviano was, our, was in our first production at the El Cerrito Theater as Don Giovanni, and he's Papageno. We have Darren Flagg as Tamino. Heidi Moss Sali is Pamina. Elise Nakajima is the Queen of the Night. And Cliff Romig is Sarastro. Um, the performances are March 4th. Let me double check this. March 4th, 9th and 11th. I hope you'll join us for Mozart's 
the manga flute.